really, is when we look at this, um, to determine if you have a triangle, what we need to do is let's say we have three sides, A, B, and C. All right? What that means is A plus B has to be greater than C. A plus C has to be greater than B. And C plus B has to be greater than A. All right? And what that's telling you is the sum of any two sides of a triangle have to be larger than the third side. And let's take a look at that. Let's just see wh when would it be that not the case. Let's pretend we have a triangle. Let's say that's 2. That's 2. right? It says these two, the lengths of these two have to be greater than my third side, right? Well, what if I have a third side that's 8? Right, it's not going to produce a triangle, right? So that's what we're saying is these two sides, when I add these two sides, it has to be greater than the third side for it to produce a triangle. So any two sides of a triangle, when you add them up, have to be greater than the third side, right? For it to be a triangle. And that's what I'm asking you. If I gave you side lengths of 7, 14, and 16, is that a triangle or not? Not is it an acute or an obtuse or a right. You guys can determine that by the last parts of notes. But we need to determine, does this work? So you can just label A plus B. So we have 7 plus 14. Is that greater than 16? Yes. 7 plus 14, yeah, 21, right? We do A plus C. 7 plus 16, is that greater than 14? Yes. yes. And C plus B is 16 plus 14 greater than 7. Yeah, so is this a triangle? Yes. Now, if I asked you to classify this triangle as an acute, obtuse, or a right, you would use the formula of the one I just gave you, right? All I'm asking you here is just to identify if that's going to be a triangle or not. All right, so last thing. This is what we'll call shortcuts. I'm not going to make a video on it.